wanted to be part of the Commission because I wanted to get to know the city better and its communities and its people and also to help people in the city to improve people's lives and to address poverty. I wanted to be part of it to try and eradicate homelessness and poverty in Manchester. Um, but also to sort of like, you know, meet with um, a, a range of different people to talk about uh, the issues and the way they impacted on my community. So I've been a GP in Withenshaw in South Manchester for 20 years and have observed through listening to my patients and watching what happens to them in their daily lives, the real impact and harm that poverty can cause. And it was just so obvious to me that if this was something that could make a difference, then I should be part of it. Uh, it was uh, a chance to let the authorities know how the sufferers are feeling and uh, uh, what can uh, help them. So I became uh, a part of this commission and uh, I played my role. Well, when we first met up in the commission, it was uh, nerve wracking, I think, for everybody there. But we soon got to know each other and all became open and friendly and now they're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> we shared our stories and we stopped making assumptions about each other very quickly I think because the civic uh, commissioners often had uh, their own experiences of poverty, their own experiences of inequality. The things that helped me to get connected with the other commissioners and uh, uh, civic leaders, uh, it was the sufferings of uh, other commissioners. Before that I felt that I'm the alone who is suffering here, but it was uh, uh, a kind of big sport uh, to feel and meet the people who are suffering in different ways. So um, I was not alone. I've learned just to be myself and to speak my mind now, which I was a bit shy at first. People don't think I am, but I actually am. I was surprised about how much help they actually gave you when they listened to what you were actually saying and the uh, the fights you were having with the people in the hierarchy as such. What I learned and what surprised me the most was that commonality between the two sides, like the, the shared backgrounds, the shared experiences. Uh, this process meant that we were able to find out that there are real people in the council and in the police and in the NHS who genuinely do care and want to make a difference. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a doer. Um, I'm a, a, a someone that tries to help people um, and I think that what I really took away was you know many many people don't want your help they want your support they want your assistance they want your uh, encouragement they want your empowerment uh, they don't want you to do it for them Probably the biggest outcome and the most enjoyable part is the relationships that are created because it's those relationships that allow change to happen and for change to be sustained and that was, that's probably the most transformational part of the Poverty Truth Commit and that's what makes the real difference and marks it out from so many other projects. So I think, I think it's left me with a really, really, really powerful reminder of the radical injustices that exist um, in this country and the, my organisation, LGBT Foundation, needs to really, really step up to the plate and think about how we can best support people who find themselves in that situation. I would like to see uh, the end of poverty in Manchester and the end of homelessness in Manchester. I believe everybody should have the right to have a roof over their head and enough money to live on. Oh, my hope is that the ideas that we came up with can actually be put into practice and that if those then work they can be implemented not just in Manchester but going into Greater Manchester and then across the North West and even nationally. I think we have a huge responsibility to make a difference as a result of it so my real hope is that this is the beginning and not the end and that we can look back in another two or three years time and say we here in Manchester are doing this differently because we had a Poverty Truth Commission. But I'm also aware that some of the commissioners have made really strong connections with each other. Some of the civic commissioners are taking away really, really tangible uh, uh, change projects that they can sort of like implement within their own organisations. Um, so I think that the, 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 the Truth Commission will um, sort of like live on and I think it will live on within the commissioners and also with the resources that are generated from our time together. I would say nothing 
about us, without us, is for us. We need to be involved and a sufferer can help other sufferers better.